gentlemen, welcome to another year of the Trilby Tour. And this year we're starting Ireland at the Druids Glen. And as they say round here, K. Mila Falter, 100,000 welcomes. The 2010 Trilby Tour, eight regional championships and two international finals across nine venues, featuring a total of over 900 golfers. And the quest for the international amateur title begins here in Ireland, just south of Dublin at Druids Glen. Perfect conditions greeted the field of 100 golfers at this championship venue, and the quest to become the first ever Trilby Tour champion of Ireland began. And the honour of hitting the opening tee shot fell to Phil Davis of Australia. And what a great opening shot it was. Phil alongside Tom Fitchew and Richard Gormley set off in search of a top 12 place to guarantee qualification for the international amateur final at the Buckinghamshire. More golf to come, but not until we've heard from this man, one of the original Irish golfing superstars, Eamon Darcy, who had more than a passing interest in the Trilby Tour coming to Druids Glen. I've been here from the day they opened the course about 13, 14 years now. It's a little bit of uh, Augusta out there with the colours, some fantastic holes. Um, it can eat you up. There's some real tough holes out there, and uh, I'm sure some of the boys have sort of um, come unstuck out there, but some of them have probably haven't, but uh, I'd say they've all loved it. I still play on the uh, European seniors. I enjoy to play about 12 tournaments a year. And John O'Leary rang me up. I didn't know John was here, an old pal of mine from Ryder Cup days. We played the first Ryder Cup together in 1975. And uh, he said, by doing this, come on down. And it was great to see him, you know? So I'm so happy to be here. I met William there for the first time, an amazing guy. I mean, uh, this is fantastic. The amount of effort and detail that's gone into this. I was here two days ago, I was doing a bit of practice, and I saw all these signs and I thought, have the European Tour got a, a, a big event here? No expense has been spared and it's wonderful to see it. And all the color, these trilbies and all this, it's real old school, isn't it? More from Eamon later in the show when he gives us an impromptu chipping masterclass. But now it's time to get back to the action. Remember, only the top 12 qualify for the International Amateur Final at the Buckinghamshire Golf Club. On countback, Mark McGroarty's 30 points was enough to book his spot in 12th place. In at 11, again on countback was this man, Johnny McGoey, who seemed to sense just how important this part was for his 30 points and a trip to the Bucks. Playing partners Ian McGuinness and Simon Taylor just outside the qualifying zone by a couple of points. McGoey after the final. Steady would be the word to describe Jimmy Murphy's round at Druids Glen. No problems tee to green and if a few more putts had dropped he might have made the top four and a place in the playoff for the Champion of Ireland title. 31 points though, good enough to qualify in 10th place. At nine, Trilby Tour regular Kevin Commons was looking to repeat his win at Moortown in 2009. But in the end, he had to settle for a place in the final and a shot at the international title later in the year. And to round up this first group of qualifiers, Jared Caffrey bludgeoned his way to 31 points at eighth place. Five places at the final gone, seven more, including the top four playoff spots to be claimed. The Trilby Tour was off to a flying start and support from the Irish Tourist Board for this opening event made Druids Glen very special indeed. William Hunt Trilby Tour, really excited to have it. I think it's the third year, first time it's come to Ireland. Um, I think you know it's a perfect opportunity for Ireland to showcase itself into an international audience, especially into the UK audience. Golf in Ireland at the moment is going through a really exciting time. Um, we've been working with the golf industry for the last 18 months, 24 months, putting together a new golf strategy. Um, and that's also coincided with uh, Irish golf having probably some of our finest professionals at a, at a time with Rory McIlroy, Padraig Harrington, Gray McDowell uh, and so on. So it's a really exciting time for Irish golf at the moment. It's a fantastic tournament. This is a great venue. Druids Glen is an absolutely amazing place to be. The weather like this as well, no better place in the world to be playing. So we're really excited to have it here. I hope everybody has a fantastic time. I think they will. I hope to see hopefully some good scoring out there today. I'm going to have a bash. I don't know how I'll play, but um, we'll see how we go. Look, I have no excuses. The weather's good. No excuses needed from Keith, a belting tee shot down the first, even with the pressure of the Sky Sports cameras on his shoulder and the crowd not slow with the banter. Unfortunately, Keith's opening tee shot didn't quite set the tone for the rest of his round and he missed out on a place in the top 12. 
Back to the players that didn't miss out though, and the additional question of which four golfers would contest the playoff for the chance to be crowned Trilby Tour champion of Ireland. Ian Clark set the early pace with 32 points and some superb golf shots. 32 points and a tie for fourth place proved to be popular on the day. 2009 finalist Craig Walker once again produced quality out on the course to guarantee his inclusion in a one-shot shootout at the Druids Glen 19th, newly created for this event. Left-hander Jonathan Dunphy made it three players shooting out for one playoff place. He would be joining Clark and Walker on that 19th tee. And making it four players for one place was this man, Colin Greensmith, not convinced earlier in the day that his 32 points would be enough. Hope it's enough for a top 12, we'll see how the day goes. Top four will be a bonus for the playoff, but if it gets into the top 12, we'll be very happy with that. The course is in fantastic condition, so it just made it a little bit easier for us. Greens ran super, balls ran through, so it was a, a good morning's work. Who have you got in your bag today? Got my Uncle John here <laughs> beside me in the bag. <laughs> No, he's, he's a superb kid. Uh, his finish today was as good as any pro could have finished. He finished eagle, uh, eagle, bogey, birdie, uh, to put him into on top of the leaderboard for a wee while anyway. So no more than Colin. I do hope he qualifies uh, in, the, in the last 12. We came up last night for a little look and we, we couldn't believe it. Just to hit a few putts out the back and the signage. And it's just quality from start to finish. Absolute quality. Can't say enough about it. Clear of the shootout madness though was 2009 finalist Gareth Sheridan on 34 points after a big journey to play Druids Glen. First of all, I looked through the courses and I thought, uh, which ones haven't I played? Um, went away, thought I'll have a little pond or have a little thing. By the time I got back, full, 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 full. Oh well, Druids Glen it is in. And how did it go today? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, played well, 34 points, happy with that. Could have been better but could have been worse as they all say. And how do you fancy your chances in the playoffs? Oh, anything can happen. Depends on what holes it's going to be. If it's the ones I bogeyed, no. <laughs> First 17th, 18th. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> we wish you the best of luck. Well done, you guys. Cheers, thanks a lot. A very happy Gareth Sheridan was joined by Adam Packman on 34 points. That left only one more place in the Druids Glen playoff for the Champion of Ireland title and it was claimed by a man who almost needs no introduction these days, the 2008 Trilby Tour amateur champion, John Lynch. As ever, William has put all his efforts into bringing the tournament to Ireland, which is fantastic. I'm glad to have it here because uh, people in Ireland get to experience what I experienced over the last couple of years going over to the UK and with the London Club and obviously the Bucket, I'm sure, a couple of years ago. This is my third year. So um, fortunately we won it won in 2008 and, and back at the London Club last year in third year playing so looking forward to getting stuck in, in in about an hour's time. Are you serious about winning it again? Of course. The whole prize, the whole thing of meeting David Ledbetter and the whole, the whole experience of, of winning it. I mean the trip that I experienced last year going to the States, um, I'd, I'd love for everybody to experience that but I certainly would love to experience that again. That would certainly be my goal to, to win it. And, get to do that again, you know, such a trip of a lifetime, you know. He certainly started his 2010 campaign in the right way with the top score in regulation of 35 points and leaving himself with a chance of claiming another Trilby Tour title. Having acquainted himself with the playoff pressure back in 2008, he would certainly be heading into the showdown scenario as the man to beat. Confirmation of the scores then after 18 holes at Druids Glen, McGrawty, McGoey, Murphy, Commons and Caffrey qualify for the international final at the Buckinghamshire, while Clark, Walker, Dunphy and Greensmith will need to shoot it out to join Gareth Sheridan, Adam Packman and John Lynch in the Trilby Tour Championship of Ireland playoff. The shootout and playoff action coming up right after the break. <laughs> 